welcome to easy english by edi singh and today we are going to explore one of the fictions the title of the fiction is madam rides the bus what is the title of the fiction madam rides the bus yes this is written by valley kaman yes valley kaman valley kaman now you can ask sir what is this story madam rides the bus about ask sir what is this story about about yeah generally you know a bus ride like you know a car ride or any other ride like a bus ride is also a dream come true for somebody like uh, you know that girl uh, valley she is also dreaming all the time to ride a bus you know ask sir why, why? because actually she had seen many a time a bus you know passing through her own village to the town nearest town and it was her favorite past time to stand on the front door of her house and watch the activities going on outside so in the course of watching the activities going on outside she often stood at the doorway of her house and watched the bus traveling from her own village to the nearest town several times and an idea and thought came to her mind that sometimes she would travel into the bus that's the reason why you know valley dreams of traveling in the bus am i right for a girl like valley to travel or to ride a bus was a dream come true dream come true. so now what happens now you ask uh, marchi that sir the story starts about whom and how Uh, the story is about an eight-year-old girl named Valiama. That means the short name is Valley. The short name is Valley. She was a very curious girl. She was curious to know everything that was happening around her. What was she curious to know? She was curious to know everything that was happening in the village and around her. Am I right? Yes. Now. Her favorite pastime was to stand at the front door way of her house and see what was happening in the street outside. What was her favorite pastime? Her favorite pastime was to stand at the front door of her house and see what was happening in the street outside. Okay, Marci, she would watch the bus that passed every hour. From her village to the nearest town, yeah. what would she watch all the time? Bus. She would watch the bus that passed every hour from her village to the nearest town. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. She developed a desire, a interest, an interest yeah. to travel into the bus to ride the bus. What kind of interest did she develop? Watching the bus passing all the time, every hour through her village, she developed. She like that. She developed, she developed a deep desire, a deep desire to, travel to travel or to ride the bus. Ride the bus. This, became this became her deepest desire. desire. Valley found, found out the out details of the bus the journey the of the bus by journey. listening carefully by listening the, carefully conversation the conversation between, between several, neighbors several neighbors of her village. Of her village. She often asked questions. Asked to them details. and got satisfactory answer about the minute details. Ask, sir, what kind of details? What kind of details? How many minutes exactly does the bus journey take to reach the town? Yes. And what is the bus fare one way? Like the bus fare was 30 pies one way and it took 45 minutes to reach the town and to come back from there. The trip was just 45 minutes. The trip was just uh, yeah, the, the entire fare was 60 pies. What was the entire fare? 65. 30 pies one way and return 30 pies. It was 60 pies. 60 pies. Now, she came to know that the town was just 6 miles away from her house. How many miles away from her six village? Miles. And it was, the fare was just 30 pies one way. 30 pies? One the way. bus fare was just 30 pies one way and the the trip took only 45 minutes how many minutes does the trip take tell me minutes. only 45 minutes valley planned her visit to the town she saved 60 pies how many pies 60 pies by by every means for the for the fare 
Finally, one day, the time came when she decided to travel, to ride a bus. She took the one o'clock bus. Ask, sir, why did she take one o'clock bus? Why did she choose because she had bus? made all the calculation that if she will start at one o'clock bus, she will be able to return by, you know, it will take 45 minutes. Yes, so by 145, she will reach the town. And when she will uh, come back, you know, again, 45 minutes will be. So she will be able to reach the, uh, I mean, house by 2.30 by or by 2.45. Am I right? Something like 2.30 or 2.45 because she wanted to return before evening before. Mm -hmm. So she had calculated the time and by calculating and recalculating and planning and replanning, she decided that she would travel by one o'clock bus. So she took the one o'clock bus. She took the one, one o'clock bus. bus and reached the town. Valley was very happy to have got into the bus for the first time. On the way, the town, on the way to the town, she got, she saw a cow running right in front of the bus. What did she see? Tell me. Cow, uh, cow a running cow running in, front just in bus, front of the, the bus. bus. She was, that time she was happy. She just clapped. She didn't know that the, the cow was really, I mean, threat, threatening danger. Threatening danger. danger. Now, today, Maharishi, we are going to do the first part. Am I right? So, I would request you to read the first paragraph, please, read <clears throat> the first paragraph. There was a girl named Valiema, who was called Vali for short. Yeah, she, what was the name of the girl? Valiema. Valiema. And what was her short name? Valley. Valley. Yes. She was eight years old and very curious about things. Yeah, the girl was just eight years old and she was ha she was having curiosity to know everything that was happening around her. She was curious to know what was happening around her. Yeah. Her favorite pastime was standing in the front doorway of her house. Standing what was her favorite pastime? To stand just in front of the doorway of her house and watch the activities happening outside. Her favorite pastime was to stand in front of the doorway of her house and watch the happenings, the activities happening outside. Am I right? Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. What was her favorite pastime? Her favorite pastime was to stand in the front door of her house and watch the activities going on outside. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay. There were no playmates of her own age on her street. And this was about all she had to do. Yeah, and Maharishi, the only reason why she did this was that there was no one of her age who could be her playmates. Hardly there was any boy or girl of her age who could be playing with her. That was the reason why she passed her time standing on the front doorway and watching the activities going on. Yes, this was the only reason why she had to stand outside on the doorway and watch the activities going on. Yeah. But the valley standing at the front door was very bit as enjoyable as any of the elaborate games other children played. Watching the street gave her many new unusual experiences. Yeah, every time, every time the people, I mean, were passing by, you know, every time the people who were passing by, the new passengers were just sitting in the bus. So every time she saw some new passengers sitting in the bus, am I right? So it was just enjoyable. For Valley, it was not less entertaining. It was better than any game. Read some more program. The more fascinating things of all was the bus that traveled between her village and the nearest town. Yeah, the most fascinating thing for Valley was that the bus traveled between the uh, village and the nearest town. It was, it was one of the most fascinating things for her because she had never seen so many passengers going to the town every day. Mm -hmm. And it was a new experience for her. It passed through her street each hour, once going to the town and one coming back. The sight of the bus filled each time with a new set of passengers was a source of a unending joy of for Valley. Yeah, just wait. Now, up to this, we are having two questions. Let us now discuss this question. Yes. Now, first question to Mercy. Mercy, what was Valley's favorite pastime? Sir, her favorite pastime was to stand on the front gate. Um, front door of her yes, house. Front gate, uh, front and look at the street outside. And look at the street outside and uh, saw the new, new. See the new, I mean, things or the activities yes, happening. What? Why did she do so? Sir, because she had uh, no 
friends of her age who could play with her and very pass correct, her time. Very correct. She had no playmates of her age who could play with her. That's why she often passed her time standing outside the doorway. What do you think Valley was planning to do? Yes, you. So Valley was planning to uh, ride the bus. Yeah, once, at least once. Okay, she was uh, planning to go to the town once and return back by the same bus. Am I right? Yes. Sir. The, uh, what was the fare one way? Uh, sir, Thirty pesos. Yeah, yeah. And uh, how many minutes did uh, the trip takes take? Forty-five minutes. Just forty-five minutes. Why was the conductor called? Uh, why did the conductor call Valley, madam? The conductor called Valley Madam because she behaved like a woman. Behaved like a woman. She de declined to any kind of help from the conductor. Any kind of. And she behaved in a very civilized manner. That's all today. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. We shall continue the second part the second day. Am I right?